Okay, so I'm building this next frame, building the fire. I've changed the fire. I've posed the creature a little bit. Um, now I need to fix some of these other aspects. I'm going to brighten the background a little bit more using an overlay layer because I'm moving towards everything just being engulfed in flames. I'm going to shift the the water and the reflections of the atmosphere and then move the clouds. A little too much. And rotate the stars. A little too much. All right. And then I want to darken the coral even more. So at this point, I can double it up. And then go to inner shadow, multiply it more, make its size bigger, and then, you know, darkening everything. And I can even go to my background, sky, unlock it. I can start darkening the sky too. Um, I can do inner shadow. And you can see around the edges, it's going to start darkening. So like the smoke is affecting the actual atmosphere a little bit. And I can start uh, doing kind of a color overlay on it too, right? And start changing the weather a little bit. But if that's the case, I want the stars to show up even stronger. So I'm going to bring up the overlay a little bit more. Okay, I think that works. Hold down Option, Layer, Merge Visible, select all, Command C to copy, go to Stage, Command V to paste, Command S to save, Command D to deselect, and now let's build the next one. And now I just want a lot of fire. So I'm just going to build and build and build. kind of grows exponentially and warp. It has to feel like it's growing out of this area. And it's going to keep layering it up. And then I'm going to take this whole group and duplicate it. Take that whole group and transform it, make it bigger. And rotate it because I want it to eventually kind of overtake everything. Even my creature. Right. So again, I'm going to work backwards, kind of get to where the most extreme is. I work backwards from there. Oh, it's all in normal mode right now. I want to. Yeah, let's do normal. Okay, so now I'm just going to take that whole layer. I'll make mark this red and take its opacity down a little bit. But also I can set it to be 
something back here. Something a little bit stronger. All right. So you can see this kind of brightens everything up. Like so. Okay, let's play with this stuff. All the little subtleties. So I'm breathing a little. Go ahead and keep darkening that coral. Move the clouds. And move the sky. Oops, wrong one. All right, and then I'm going to increase the glow on the creature effect, too. All right. Merge visible, holding down option, select it all. Command C to copy, Command V to paste it in. So now is a good time to save it and run a quick animation test. I have a lot of fire. I think it all makes sense. So I'm going to say um, timeline, make frames from animation. Select them all. I have 22 frames now. Set them to 0.3 seconds. And play through forever. Yeah, that fire is growing nicely. All right, so now I am to this part of my storyboard where I need to start setting it to reset. So it needs to start filling the frame and then going back to the first frame. So before I do that, I want to get rid of all of these timeline frames by dragging them down to the trash. Then I'm going to get rid of the timeline so I don't get confused. And then I go back And I deselect and I delete the merge frame. And now I'm just going to go crazy with the fire. And duplicate more of it and grow it. And take its opacity up. Then I'm going to go to overlay, I'm going to put this up right. Go to the t Do all the little stuff. Change the pose a little bit. The puppet warp. For old time's sake. The creature is not long for this world. As is. I think I need to tilt his head up a little bit too. And I'm going to start diminishing the the stream of flame coming out of his mouth. 
now. Maybe even move it a little bit. Because I want it to start to diminish. And now it's kind of cool how the coral just looks like it's so on fire. And I'm going to keep moving the clouds, though, even though you can barely see it through all the the ash, and I'm going to keep rotating those stars, take them at a higher opacity. All right. Oh, and I actually might take the creature and start to silhouette it a little bit. So I have the outer glow, but now I can actually put in um, a color overlay that just darkens it. Just a little bit. Curious if I did this as overlay. Nope. <laughs> nope. That looks a more apocalyptic, but no. All right. There we go. Maybe take that down a little bit. Okay. Remember, it's best not to be too subtle with GIF animations. Hold down Option, Layer, Merge Visible, Select All, Copy, Command C, go to your stage, paste it in. Ooh. Now I am doing what's called setting to reset. This is the end of my animation, but I want it to kind of take over everything. So I can continue to just build it up and stretch it out. Have that fire just kind of take over everything. And eventually it will just go to white. You can keep brightening the overlay. And I want to keep weakening the little torrent of flame coming from the mouth and keep moving the creature with puppet warp. And move the clouds and rotate the stars. And let's see, let's try to change the quality of this fire a little bit, but there's so many duplicates of it now. That might be not possible. Let's see if I take a duplicate like this and then transform it and flip it horizontally. That can change the quality of it a little bit and just take that opacity down. Sometimes layering the different opacities. Now I have a lot of layers now in my assets. It's a little crazy. but it gives you a lot of this kind of storytelling control. Okay. So now option, layer, merge visible, select all.